Thank the Speaker. I rise today in honor of one of my constituents, United States Marine Major Eric Burkett from Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Major Burkett was deployed as a member of the 24th Expeditionary Force in Morocco as an Osprey pilot. On April 11, 2012, he was nearly killed in a plane crash, a crash which took the lives of two of his brothers in arms. After coming home to Walter Reed, he lost one of his legs and he continues to recover from his news, uh, numerous injuries to this day. His wife, Melissa, who also is a former Marine, has been by his side from day one, along with their loving six children. Major Burkett may never fly again, but already with his recovery, he soars high above most of us. It was his spirit of service and patriotism that led him to start a program at Fort Belvoir for adaptive archery for his fellow wounded warriors. I proudly submit for the record this poem penned by Albert Carey Caswell in his honor and in celebration of his new adapted home built thanks to the Gary Sinise Foundation. At this time, I'd like to read an excerpt from this poem. As his two brothers, angels now up to heaven would rise, coming back home with only his family upon which to rely, so all by his side, his fine wife Melissa and children giving the strength to try as he knew it was time, time to rebuild his life, armed with his heart of strength and iron will, giving the power and courage to nourish him to instill that strength to rebuild, who against all odds, our wounded warriors into that dark night move onward still. Mr. Speaker, it is people, it is people like Major Burkett who we celebrate, people who put themselves in danger in harm's way in order to protect the rest of us. I am so proud and so humbled to be able today to submit this poem in honor of Major Burkett, and I yield back.